Hello and welcome to our Gold participants from around the world. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Public Relations Manager and MC for the Gold Lactation Online Conference 2016. I have the pleasure of sitting down today with Joy McTavish. How are you, Joy? I'm great. Thank you, Fiona. Very excited that you're here and presenting on addressing pediatric dental health concerns of the breastfeeding families. What a great topic, Joy. Thank you. I'm excited. I am too because this is something I feel like um, comes up quite frequently and has done forever. Like I just, uh, Joy and I were just chatting offline and I said, wow, this is something that seems to be an ongoing conversation amongst our mothers and then they come to us with their concerns and different, you know, myths that are out there about this. So this is going to be really great and thank you so much for taking this on. So first of all, Joy, uh, why don't you introduce yourself to our listening audience today, tell them a little bit about yourself, your professional journey, and then why don't you dive into why you wanted to speak about this topic. Certainly. So I am a lactation consultant in private practice in the Seattle, Washington um, area of the United States. and. I have been um, in private practice since I became an IBCLC in 2013, and um, so I'm fairly new in this in this field. But I have a background working with families in a variety of capacities before I became a lactation consultant. And the reason why I wanted to talk about pediatric dental health concerns um, with breastfeeding and chestfeeding families is because this is a topic that comes up in um, classes and in consultations. It comes up in various parenting communities, um, including some of the, the groups that I'm in. And it's somewhere it's an area that I feel there is some some conflicting information. There is a wealth of information um, that comes out of the dental uh, professional community and there are the uh, the various uh, information that the lactation consultants share with with their clients and the families that they work with. And sometimes those do not seem to um, seem to be saying the same things to families, and so families come away feeling, I think, a bit frustrated or feeling confused or conflicted about how to proceed. And I think that we, as lactation consultants, can really help support clients making informed decisions and advocating for themselves and for their children around dental health concerns. But I think that it would be helpful to have a little bit more understanding of kind of what are the dental professionals saying, what are we saying, where might there be disconnect, and where can we help provide some of that guidance so that so that hopefully families can feel really informed and confident in whatever decisions they're making for themselves. Yeah, and I, like I said to you, I think just such an important topic and we need clarity. We need this. You know, this is important. We need to be up to date so that we have answers um, so that we can address them clearly, you know, with our clients. And I think, so I'm just, I'm just excited. We're going to have a great discussion. I know there's going to be a lot of chat about this as well. And of course, we can all use the forums and the discussion groups as well as, you know, uh, listening to your presentation, Joy. So I just can't wait to hear more of what you have to say. So one of the things uh, we're doing here, of course, is celebrating our 10th anniversary. Did you know that, Joy? I did. That's so exciting. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, lots of things that are going on. We've got uh, keynote presenters at both ends of our conference. So we have an opening and a closing keynote, uh, open access for everybody, which is fantastic. Uh, we have great content this year, uh, bigger, better, and lots of giveaways and fun things like that. However, one of the things we're talking to our speakers about is reflection. And so with that, I would love to know a little bit about, um, you know, the things that you have seen change uh, over the last 10 years, because we're 10 years old here. Um, so I'd love to know a little bit about what you've seen perhaps in your career over the 10 years, how you've grown in the industry, what has, what's changed for you and what's stayed the same. So perhaps you can just reflect on that a little. Definitely. So um, I have been a perinatal professional for about nine years, so not quite to that 10-year anniversary um, for my professional career in this field. Um, but I think that the biggest change that I've seen during that time has really been around um, social media, I think, and uh, online connections that families do and ways that families get 
their information and their support um, through uh, online sources, whether that's Facebook groups or whether it's through um, you know you going to directly to websites of you know of the various types of information they're seeking, whether that's dental information or lactation information. I think that the um, the clients that I'm working with tend to be very um, savvy when it comes to technology and tend to use a lot of technology um, as they get information for themselves and make decisions. And I've just seen that increase and increase over, over the years. Um, I think that one thing that has stayed the same over the years has been that desire for personal connection, though. I think that while the internet and while while community um, groups and forums uh, serves a great purpose in connecting people that may otherwise feel um, disconnected or isolated, I think that people really want that personal connection. And so I think having you know a you know a specific person, a specific professional, um, a lactation consultant that somebody can reach out to about their lactation questions, or um, somebody that they see in a professional. Um, position that can answer their questions in a way that, that resonates with them as a person because you have that relationship built over time. Maybe they've you know attended a prenatal class with you or maybe they've um, you saw them in the early days and then you know later on they have questions about starting solids or about dental care while they're breastfeeding or about weaning and being able to create and sustain those meaningful relationships in person I think have, has remained the same and I think that it, that will always remain the same regardless of, of what's taking place in the the technology world. Well, it's interesting you touched on that about some of the things that have stayed the same, you know, uh, the mothers needing and craving, you know, being close to each other, having professionals be with them. This is something that I'm, I'm hearing from all of our speakers. It's very interesting doing this whole reflection piece that we're doing because, uh, you know, whichever way you look at it, there's some things that are really consistent. Um, you know, the technology absolutely is playing a great um, and diverse role, you know, with our mothers in, in some respects because it's actually opening up a lot more for them. Um, but in some respects, you know, we see that there is now this craving, like you said, in order to, to be with each other. So um, I think it's great. I think we're just seeing so many things. I think it's about balance. Honestly, you know, we're, we're trying to balance out all of these things as professionals and for our mothers as well. Would you say, Joy? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, so it's so many great opportunities, though, as we grow together um, in this, you know, in the perinatal field and in the lactation field. So I'm excited uh, that we continue to have a yearning, you know, to grow and learn. So, of course, that's what we're all about here as well at Gold. So lastly, Joy, as I ask all of our uh, speakers, as just before they get to present at the live presentation, is just to share a little bit about what you hope our delegates will be able to take away and what you'll be speaking to them. But don't give too much away, just <laughs> give them enough to get them coming back, OK? Definitely. I hope that the delegates that attend um, or listen to my presentation will take away a uh, greater understanding of what the information says from the research and from the um, resources that we have, uh, how to share those bits of information, um, those tangible kind of things that you can tell your clients when they come to you with concerns, and then some specific kind of skills um, and ideas around how to support that informed decision making um, and helping your clients feel uh, that they can advocate for themselves as they're making these decisions or as they're going to dental appointments or as they're making um, dental care decisions for for their nursing uh, babies and children. That's awesome. Well, I'm really excited to hear more, Joy. So thank you so much for taking this on. Again, Joy McTavish will be speaking to addressing pediatric dental health concerns of breastfeeding families, how lactation consultants can support clients in form decision making and advocacy. Wonderful, just wonderful, and great to chat with you. So glad that you were able to sit down with, with us today and looking forward to your full presentation. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Fiona. Thanks, everyone, for listening in. That's all we have for now. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>